Ebo week is almost upon us. Cannot wait. Judd Monty International. What a race this is going to be this year. Racing poster saying the race of the season potentially. And I have to agree. If all the contenders we believe will line up for this race, I do believe we are going to see something potentially very, very special. All right. Let's take a look. So afternoon all, hope you are all well, or good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this. Judd Monty International, and what is going to happen? It's fascinating, fascinating race. Racing post saying potentially the race of the season. Certainly feels like it could be pretty special. Of course, City of Troy is the headline act. He's going to get all the headlines, win or lose potentially in this race. But there's so many contenders, I believe, are capable of causing an upset. City of Troy's odds are incredibly skinny. So we're going to take a look a little bit back at his last race and look back at the derby again and look at a couple of the other leading contenders because there are some really special horses in this race. Um, certainly, certainly one of the more interesting Jumonti internationals we've had in quite some time, in my opinion. Really looking forward to this. Your race is always really good on the Wednesday, the opening day. And right, with no further ado, let's flash up the odds for the Giudmonti and then we'll take a little look at some of the other contenders for this race. Contenders there, so City of Troy has mentioned 8 to 13, 4 to 7, 4 to 6 in places. Very, very skinny as expected. That's, those prices are coming in a little bit as well from last week it was around even so everybody hot on city of troy not to be unexpected we'd know how capable this horse is the derby win was incredible it's so yeah if we chat about city of troy's derby and what an incredible performance it was by him that day dropped out fairly near the back of the field didn't look like he was going amazingly but looked to be going reasonably well and just picked up as soon as ryan moore pressed go he just went off like a train was superb, really, really nice uh, performance by him in the derby. He came right through. Ambiente friendly, just to mention that Ambiente friendly was really good in the derby. So I looked to be travelling all the way and did travel, just not quite good enough to match City of Troy. But I was really impressed with Ambiente friendly in the derby. But the, the race was all about City of Troy, wasn't it? Well, what a performance it was! Uh, a great comeback after the flop of the 1,000 guineas. So we'll, uh, with the derby, as we say, really good performance. The call eclipse last time out the ground didn't seem to suit him quite as well. It wasn't a fluent performance at all. It was it was a performance of... It was basically a tenacious performance, hard-working performance. Ryan Moore really got him over the line. Um, but uh, you can look at it from two perspectives. You can look at it, well, City of Troy wasn't great that day. It wasn't a great race for him. The ground wasn't perfect for him, but yet he, and he still won in a decent race, the Eclipse. Or you can look at the other way, where we've now seen him struggle a bit in the, well, struggle a lot in the 1,000 guineas. Something wasn't right that day. And in the Eclipse, nowhere near as fluent as the Derby in terms of eye-catching performance. So... Interesting on City of Troy. If we flash up his full record here just for completion, we've discussed the last run out Coral uh, Eclipse and the Derby before that, and of course the Guineas 9th of 11 that day. And then if you look at last year, it was just pure eye catching form. Debut season, three wins, and there's some really, really nice performances in there as well. So that's City of Troy. Right, let's take a look at the rest of the market. So flicking back to the odds here, as I said, City of Troy, we've discussed him enough. Now, Clandigan, 6-1 to one in places, 9-2 to two actually up there with some bookmaker. 7-1, to one, I think, is your best price currently. And this is a really, really interesting runner. I haven't got a clip of him here, but uh, as his Ascot performance was just incredible. Right at the back, dropped in. Uh, seems to be travelling okay, and then came swooping through. I mean, it won, it won so comfortably in the end. It was just an absolutely incredible performance. And I'm not that surprised how skinny his price is. He won six lengths in a group two. And he looked like he had some in hand. That was uh, one mile four at Ascot. Obviously, this distance is slightly different for the Jub Monty. Uh, but Clandigan just... I mean, you understand why his price is so low. His time was pretty good that day as well. So 
you know, if he can get better, then he's absolutely going to be uh, testing City of Troy all the way to the line. So, Glenn again, really interesting runner. 6-1 to one feels about the right price for him. You can kind of just about back him each way. Um, yeah, very, very interesting runner. So, we're working our way down the card here, and next on the list is... Alphalalia, I always mess up the pronunciation of this horse. <laughs> the Alphalalia, around 8 to 1 best price currently at the time of recording, according to Odd Checker here. Now, this is an interesting runner because uh, we know that he likes York a lot. He's won his last three starts at York uh, in pretty decent races as well, including last time out in a group. Two, that was the Sky Bet York Stakes. Won by half a length to King's Gambit, who's a very, very uh, capable horse. So, yeah, really interesting that uh, uh, he goes here in this race, round eight to one. Again, horses that like York tend to continually perform pretty well at the track. Uh, and given his his really quite incredible record at York, I mean, the only other run was a second place. Uh, back in 2021 so you know given that record given the eight to one uh, Alphalalia is a very very interesting runner right further down the list then others to pick out then Ambiente friendly we discussed him briefly when we we're looking at the derby uh, again very capable not so good last time out so I guess there are a few question marks then there uh, for uh, for Ambiente friendly that's uh but again, very capable. I'm probably avoiding Ambiente friendly on this occasion, given that City of Troy's beaten him before, given his last run wasn't as positive, probably avoiding him. Ghost Rider, decent horse. Don't think he's quite good enough to trouble the top of the pack in this race, but if you like it, but each way price 14 to 1. Uh, doesn't seem too bad, but not one for me. Zarakem, 14 to 1. This is one I uh, tipped up last time out at Ascot. It's part of, that f part of the, uh, the festival there back in June. The Prince of Wales Stakes. This is one I said was coming across to France, 33 to 1, at a huge price, and wasn't just coming on, coming over for uh, the fun. Uh, group one, second, and was quite unlucky not to beat August Rodin on the day. Actually, was really didn't have the best of passages. Stayed on incredibly well. Uh, I mean, that was a good race. That any horse that comes second to August Rodin, um, you know, is a decent horse, and certainly feel he could have uh, got there on another day. So I quite like his price. Fourteen to one feels pretty decent. Um, certainly one to have a look at. White Birch, then further down, a variety of prices there. 16s is the best price currently. Lovely grey horse, this that will always be popular. White Birch tends to stay on pretty well. Pretty good record as well. This year, three wins, three starts, all reasonably good races. Obviously, seen him run at York before as well. That was last year. Uh, that's the Dante meeting. Finished second that day, so capable on this track. Uh, and was unlucky not to win that, to be honest. The Foxes won the race uh, that, that year. It was the Dante Stakes. Uh, and, he, and then White Birch lost by a neck. So we know that White Birch capable of performing at York um, as well. 16-1. to 1. Feels about right, I would say, for White Birch, given how... Good this race here. You've got economics in there. If economics gets a ride, successful at the Dante meeting this year uh, and won it well as well. Really good performances. You've got a lot of horses that have run well at York in the past, which is which makes this race really, really interesting. You know, obviously, City of Troy hasn't run at York yet. Uh, economics has and was really good. Um, you know, White Birch has run well, well at York. We mentioned off Lady before. So it's a fascinating market, this. Uh, my uh, honest gut right now, it, it's very difficult, I think, uh, to go for City of Troy at that price. I've back, I hammered on City of Troy in the Derby, but at this price, odds on, given all these dangers, I can't get involved. Um, I, I, I do 
if I if I was selecting one bit, I like Zara Kem. I do think he has got the ability to go go well here at sixteen to one. But I, yeah, I'm going to have some more thinking time. Alphalia potentially. Uh, although I think eight's maybe slightly skinny. If he drifts around tens, I think very nice each way to each price. And Kalandigan, of course, at six to one, is interesting given how good he was last time out. Can he produce that again at York? Quite possibly. Um, quite possibly. Uh, again, I'd like that one to drift a little bit. Um, I think probably seven, eight to one. I'd probably uh, look at Kalandigan as well. But I'm probably taking on City of Troy as things stand. That doesn't mean he can't go and smash in there. I just don't like the odds on a given given. There's so many dangers and so many horses, I think, capable of pushing City of Troy if he's not quite up to his game. So very interesting. Let me know your thoughts on the Jumont. It's going to be incredible. Really, really looking forward to it. We'll have more uh, discussion videos out on the Ebo meeting later uh, next week. In the meantime, best of luck to you all. And if you're having a gamble this weekend, good luck. Football's back, etc. If you're watching that as well, enjoy. We'll speak again soon and all the best to everyone. Take care.